everybody. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to employ logistic regression um, in eViews. So let's hop right into that. Uh, as what I generally do with these videos, you're going to see me doing the work in the background over here <laughs> in eViews 11. This is just some canned data uh, here on... Um, let me stop this while I talk for just a second. It's just some canned data here. Um, the uh, dependent variable is a dummy, as, of course, as it would be uh, in this case. Uh, so just look, if, you, if you're interested more in the theory of logistic regression and stuff like that, please see the related video on that. This is just sort of how to do it, right? So the, the dependent variable is a dummy in this case. In this case, the uh, data is on whether patients went to our hospital or another hospital. So if they went to our hospital, one, other hospital, zero. And then we have some variables for distance, how far they are from our hospital, uh, how, what their income level is, and then whether they were 75 years or older, variable old. Okay, and so what we want to do is employ logistic regression to test the likelihood that a given patient with these characteristics would come to our hospital versus another. Okay, so to do that, we're going to enter in our uh, desired regression as we, as we would normally do. You see dummy dependent, C for the constant, distance, income, and then uh, the age one here. And then we're going to uh, go down to the method. So rather than using least squares, we're going to employ binary, um, load your probe at extreme value. Once we choose that, it opens up this, this sort of buttons here, right? And we're going to choose load it. In this case, we're going to go OK, and we're going to run it. Again, uh, some differences here, how we interpret the regression output. Again, please see the video for more on that. Uh, you can't simply take these coefficients and interpret them in the same way as OLS. Uh, you'll notice your R squared is McFadden R squared, so it's the pseudo R squared. Uh, again, as discussed in the other video, uh, it, this is a, generates a maximum likelihood function, so it is, uh, it is an iterative process, so it's the iterations there. And that's it. That's how you do this. Okay. Thanks very much. See you again next time. Bye.